43 planes shot down. Hey, we're doing all right. December 7th, 1941, 10 in the morning. The United States suffers one of history's most devastating surprise attacks. With 2,403 dead and her once invincible Navy decimated, America is forced to join the conflict already raging in Europe and Asia. Prior to Pearl Harbor, the Japanese war machine had swept across China, cutting off American aid, and then pressed on into Burma with limited resistance. At home, Japan was building up a seemingly superior naval fleet, led by some of the world's largest aircraft carriers. But Admiral Yamamoto's prediction had come true. The aftermath of the Day of Infamy had indeed awakened the sleeping giant that was America. As the Emperor's armies march toward the Philippines, the United States takes action. Somewhere near that church in the town square. But the place is crawling with jacks. We need the demolitions on that truck to blow this bridge. Just stand fire for a minute. I'll be getting the order. <sighs> Let's clear this area out so we can get to that tank.
Corporal, your screen is on the ground. The Japs have been using pole lines, and there's no way we can make it through these streets without a dismounted man. Now, this tank is on its last legs. If you stay close, keep us clear on the flanks and to the rear.
weapon, these air attacks are chewing us up. Now they've got a spotter and an observation post somewhere. Probably up high in one of those buildings. They'll have a radio relay station nearby. Find a boat and knock them out. We'll hold here. Got a lot riding on you, Moraine. Don't let us down.
got him. Um, hello?
is the radio thing he was talking about, but I don't remember how to destroy it. thought I was doing the right thing. Turns out that was the Oh, that's neat. I know how the grenade button works, game. Why are you telling me this? Oh, 
I fear no man. some sort, that would be lovely. It won't happen, but it'd be lovely. Alright, seriously, I can't see the shit. some way to signal the demo tape. I'll check out this truck. I mean, keep your eyes peeled for Jack. Ooh, a save. Oh, this bitch. Yes, I would like to overwrite my save from a few minutes ago. That would be lovely. My water bottle pissed on me. It's swifty. Shit on the floor. Stairs.
Ow, bitch, what? I think we did it. Griffin. At ease, lad. Listen, son, I'm sorry about your brother. We, uh... We got a damn tough job done, and most of us made it out alive. He was... Well, he was a good Marine. You can't ask for more than that. Let's see. Two, uh, uh, all one bonus objective complete. Nice, nice. Uh, 108 hits taken. Pretty much a bullet sponge. Accuracy 60... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 16% of shots fired. I shot 582 times. Not great. Uh, killed 74 enemies. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Hits. I hit five headshots, 41 torso shots, seven. Ooh, I shot seven guys in the balls. That's cool. Nine in the left leg, 16 in the left arm, six in the right leg, and 10 in the right arm. I mean, I'm kind of awful. With American armed forces now fully engaged in war, Japanese occupied South Pacific islands are feeling the pressure. But hopes are crushed for a swift allied victory in the Philippines. After a long, bloody battle, General MacArthur is ordered to retreat. Thousands of troops are left behind and forced to surrender. The enemy now controls the Philippines. MacArthur vows to return. In a bold offensive move, the United States prepares to land 10,000 troops on Guadalcanal, a relatively unknown island where a strategic airfield is under construction by Japanese forces. Letters from home, that's a new option. Dear Joe, I have no idea if you've been told yet, but I have terrible news. Yesterday we got a telegram, the kind everyone dreads. Mom refused to open it until Dad rushed home from work. It was about Donnie. He's missing in action in the Philippines. We've tried to get more information from the War Department, but all we know is Donnie and some of the other men in his unit are unaccounted for. Mom's taking this very hard. She's holding on to the hope that Donnie's just been separated from the other Marines, that he made it out of the battle but hasn't been able to report back yet. Maybe it's just some awful mistake. Dad says that can happen sometimes, right? For now, all we can do is pray for another telegram with better news. Somehow, I know it will come. I decided I had to do something to take my mind off things, to help the war effort. With all the men gone overseas, a lot of the girls are working in the factories now. I applied for a job down at the Atlas Steel Plant, and I start on Monday. Where are you, Joe? Your last letter had so many holes cut out by the sensors that it looked like a sieve. But please, write again. It means so much to us to hear from you, especially now. Love, Mary.